Okay, um, this is a tutorial about creating a model and mostly it's about setting up the right constraints so that the mod model is resizable. So you start by creating a frame and then you give it uh, proper dimensions for let's say a desktop web application. Um, I'm going to name this model and I'm going to draw a rectangle here. I'm going to give it the color black, so 0, 0, 0, enter. And I'm going to stretch this to be the full width and height of my frame. Now I'm going to give it an opacity of 66% um, so that, let's say, there's something behind it, we could still see it. Now I'm going to draw a white uh, rectangle, so F, 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 enter and I'm going to give it a width of 660 pixels and a height of 500 uh, pixels. I'm going to press Option H and Option V to center it uh, within its frame. Now I'm going to um, press Command D to duplicate my selection and I'm going to uh, give my uh, new uh, rectangle that I created a height of um, let's say uh, 56 pixels. I'm going to give it um, a color, gray color, so I can see it. And then I'm gonna press Option and I'm gonna duplicate um, my rectangle here. I'm gonna group the bottom rectangle, I'm gonna group the top rectangle, I'm gonna call the top rectangle header, and I'm gonna call the bottom rectangle footer. You just can see that I have groups here. So now I'm going to select both of the groups and I'm going to change them to frames. This is very important to change them to frames. I'm going to call the rectangle background. Um, and I'm going to call the other rectangle background as well. Now uh, within the header, we will likely have a model title. So I'm going to make a new text layer and I'm going to call it mobile mo model title need to manage the notifications on my phone because they are annoying me okay uh, so i fixed that and now um, we can continue model title set it to medium um, and um, i'm gonna give this uh, rectangle two in the background that's the uh, body of the model or if the background frame of the model, a proper name, and this rectangle one, I'm gonna give it a model backdrop uh, name. Um, so now I'm gonna group um, all of uh, these um, layers into uh, a group, but I'm gonna make it a frame called model. Then this uh, is called model, but it's actually screen name. So let's say that this is a add item, it would be called add item, and then in the model title we would have add item. Um, but the model itself uh, is called model, because we're going to make a component uh, out of this. Um, but before we start with components, let's just check the resizability of this. So let's say um, we make a copy um, and um, we start uh, resizing uh, the model. Um, if you resize it, you will see that, for example, in this case, the footer disappears. If I resize it like this, it does seem to work, but if you look at how the layers uh, work, if you go into outline mode, you'll see that they don't really resize with the frame uh, very well. Um, so what we're going to do uh, to fix that is set proper constraints. So here on header, I'm going to set left and right and top constraints here on bottom footer i'm going to set left and right and uh, bottom constraints and on the background model on this layer we're going to set left and right and top and bottom constraints so if i make a new copy and now i check the resizability of my model what you'll see is that um, if i resize it it does work but not completely because here i see that um, background doesn't resize. So we go back and for this background layer we add also left and right and in this case of the top um, 
uh, one well it's top and bottom because it's resizing relative to header uh, in this case also top and bottom because it's resizing relative to footer um, so back uh, make a copy to check the constraints and now uh, things should be all right okay that looks better so let's say we have a small model and we have a large model uh, we have less uh, work because if we resize it and then we center it again it's just gonna look uh, proper and our dimensions of our modal header and footer they stay uh, 56 pixels all right so let's uh, continue uh, with uh, making our modal um, by for example um, adding a bit more detail um, I'm going to make this uh, background, this modal backdrop, uh, 66%. That's, I meant to do that before, but it didn't really work. 66% uh, opacity, uh, so that there's an interface. Be so if there's an interface behind it, you can uh, properly see it. I also see that somehow my artboard is 815 pixels and not 800. So I'm gonna fix that as well. All right, and now let's continue. So at this point, I'm gonna make a component uh, out of our model because um, I'm happy with this default size. And if we're gonna continue, it would be useful uh, to, to have it uh, be a component. So I make a component out of the model by pressing Alt, Option, well, Alt or Option, Command, K, and then, um, for this one, the backdrop, I'll do, I'll do the same, but I will use the interface. Uh, so here's the create component button. Um, for the backdrop, I actually prefer to make it a 100 by 100 um, box uh, instead, um, if I make it a component, just because this way uh, it doesn't take up too much space in your component list. So making it a component, then and instancing the component and stretching it out again. Um, and then here the model is a component so I'm going to move that out and then I'm going to move it back into my design um, so if I change something here like add items for example it changes uh, in the design itself so now I'm going to organize um, this uh, part into a modal component um, artboard I'm going to give it a background uh, so I can see what I'm doing um, and we're going to continue um, our design process. Um, so uh, we will most likely have a close button on the top right and we will have buttons, cancel and save on the uh, bottom. So uh, what we need is um, an icon component and a button component. Uh, so I'm going to make another frame called icon or icons, I'm going to make a frame called uh, buttons. And uh, let's start with the icon first. So for the icon, um, let's uh, just uh, use the pen tool and draw a basic icon. Um, this tutorial is not about the process of drawing these icons. So I'm going to do this quick and if there is interest, maybe I will do a separate uh, tutorial about icon design in Figma. Uh, but I'm setting up a 16 by 16 pixels frame or maybe I'll make it 24 by 24. And then within that frame, I'm uh, putting vectors uh, that we are now uh, centering. Um, and maybe... Um, I'm going to outline those uh, vectors um, strokes and I'm going to uh, unify the pad um, and I'm going to call this uh, close icon and make it a component. So now that I have this component, I'm going to drag it into my um, model component. And we have to set up the constraints because right now, if I would resize uh, the design, the X doesn't move, uh, the close button doesn't move, or close icon doesn't move. So I'm going to uh, set up the constraint, right, center. So now if I go back and resize it, it's gonna resize uh, properly, and it's gonna stay in its position on the top right. 
So next thing we're gonna do is create our buttons. Let's say we need to create a button, 36 pixels. Actually, the, the easier way to start a button is to start with a text layer. So we're gonna start a text layer and I'm um, gonna write button label. And now I'm gonna uh, press Shift A to give it an auto layout. And then I'm gonna click Fill to um, start um, a button layout. So what I want is that it's 36 pixels, which is the case, wonderful. Uh, but I do want it to be 16 pixels and regular. By changing the font size, we also changed it so that now it's uh, 35 uh, pixels. So in order to get it to be 36 pixels, we have to change um, something here. For example, um, if we change the line height, it's probably going to change uh, a little bit uh, so that the button then becomes uh, 36 pixels. Okay, so line height is 20 on 16 pixels uh, button. I'm going to make sure that it's uh, aligned to the center and I'm going to give it two pixels border radius. And I'm also going to um, change the side padding a little bit. Also going to make it um, so that the background color is a bit lighter. Um, and then I'm also going to make a primary button. Uh, so this one will be my uh, primary button um, and I'm going to give it a blue color. I'm going to give it a white text. I'm going to call this one primary and I'm going to call this one secondary. Now I'm going to make both of them a component by pressing here, create multiple components. And then I'm going to create, uh, I'm going to click here, combine as variants to use the variants feature. Uh, for our button. So the variant uh, that we have here is uh, called uh, skin. Um, and now I'm gonna uh, drag out an instance of both of these buttons and put it inside of our model footer. Now I see that I made a bit of a design problem here because the background of my secondary button is exactly the same as uh, the background of my um, model. Um, so what I'm gonna do is uh, start a color system. I'm gonna make, make a new artboard and call it uh, colors. And then I'm gonna try to organize the colors that I have so far. So we have this color, we have this color, um, we have this color, uh, wait, this color that I'm using, and I'm also using this kind of color. Um, so just to keep things easy, um, let's just create a, a bit of a lighter gray. Um, and we will use uh, the lighter gray for um, our um, backgrounds on the top, on the header of the model and on the footer of the model. So if we go back here uh, to the footer of the model and the organization of our buttons, we're also going to hit uh, Shift A to create an out layout. And we're going to put eight pixels uh, between um, the, uh, the two buttons. Then I'm going to align it so that it's um, eight pixels from the side or even 16 pixels uh, from the right side. Um, and pressing Alt uh, or Option, we can see uh, that it's, on, it's 11 pixels from the top, but 9 from the bottom. So I'm going to shift that up uh, one pixel so it uh, aligns properly. What I'm going to do now is um, let it resize uh, to, the, to the right of the frame. Uh, normally, if I now um, change my labels, they will just um, adapt, which works great. Um, so now um, we have, uh, I think, almost a completed model. Um, but the nice thing is if you are to going to make uh, variations of this model, let's say you have a smaller one that's 440 pixels by 300, um, it should resize properly. It doesn't uh, resize properly at the moment. Uh, so let's check uh, what's going on and why that's happening. At this point, the footer um, works, but I guess it's the button layout here um, that is um, not working properly. So in order 
Uh, to fix that, we move uh, the button layout into the footer, uh, and that uh, solves the problem. So right now, um, we have a small model, a medium model. Let's say we also have a large uh, model, and all of them uh, really use uh, the same uh, the same component, uh, which will make the maintainability uh, and um, the way that you can uh, quickly draw new screens in Figma uh, much easier. Uh, I think that's it for the kind of tutorial that I wanted to make. It's mostly about setting up uh, frames and components uh, correctly. Uh, it's not about uh, making a pretty model. I think I could uh, make it look nicer than this um, if I gave it some time. This is more of a tutorial about how it works uh, technically uh, within Figma. Uh, so I hope uh, you enjoyed it, you learned something new if you are learning Figma. And uh, if there's any questions, I will gladly answer them uh, in the YouTube comments. Uh, if you like this video, please hit the like button. And if you want to see more, please comment and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. And uh, if uh, people like this, I will probably make a few more uh, Figma videos.